Okay, so fresh off the heels of fin finish finishing goddamn strip. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta go get some coffee. Uh let's play Pikmin 4! Yeah Yeah, just sign in to my switch account. Alrighty. Now this game I got recently and have beat. I don't think I was recording YouTube when I first initially... I don't know, did I? Maybe I did. But I never I never recorded this, so... Here we go. The Pikmin 4. Retconning out the ass. Story. There's my character. Looks just like Donald Trump. Let's start a new game. Yeah, yeah, I know. One player. None of that difficulty horse shit either. That don't exist. Pure Pikmin action. Yes. Do that loading shit. Oh, Pikmin 4. You ready for some horse shit? Get your asses ready. He's about to tell us the life story of Pikmin. I am Captain Alamar. Yes. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. Okay, we're on track in the first game. This is a story of how I crashed on an unknown planet and how I ultimately was rescued. Yes. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship in pieces, scattered everywhere. Pikmin 1, storyline. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Huh. Yes. Pick that shit, son. Oh. Uh. Until I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin. Oh. <laughs> uh, they used them for slave labor. And to help, with their help, I was able to find and transport all my mission fish parts. And here's where the retcons kick in. And then he met a dog. Everything after this, Pikmin 2, fuck it. Pikmin 3, didn't happen. None of it happened. Shit's gone. Half of Pikmin 1, retcon 2. So, forget everything you've seen on the past two series, three series really. Forget Pikmin 1, forget Pikmin 2, forget Pikmin 3. This is Pikmin 4, goddammit. None of that shit happened. It's been retconned. I about had a stroke when I first played this. I was like, you gotta be shitting me. How are you about to just go, yeah, you remember those other games? Ah, fuck them. They're not important. Hey, Pikmin. I never played it, so let's not worry about it. And here is a house. Yes, a human house. Why are the humans? Hell if I know. You know, it'd been really cool if you could, like, uh, find a Chibi Robo statue here. That'd be awesome. Don't know what Chibi Robo is? Well, maybe someday I'll release that. <laughs> ah, something about this area is different than the others we've explored so far. Yeah, it's very human oriented. And all the Pikmin are just fucking off. Come back here, you little bastards. Wait, where are they running off to? Come back here, you assholes. There they go. <laughs> Just playing games with me now for tutorial shits. Shits and giggles. As they do. Them lazy bastards. Yep. Oh, I can't, can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose we'll have to call them back while they're missing parts. 
Yeah, what he said. Alright, now we're on to Pikmin 4. This is, uh... <clears throat> this is our new companion, the Doge. I saw some Pikmin head this way. Good thing I can do a charge attack with this Doge. I can break shit. Yes, I know how that works. I can do the jumping. So... Jumping and rush buttons the same button, by the way. Pikmin! Little red bastards. Run off on me like that. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, I knew it! Them goofy bastards. Use that B button to call their goofy asses back. Get out of here, you shitheads. Yes, hug my dog. Excellent. I wish I knew why the Pikmin ran off in the first place. Well, never know. Better make it into my notes and my voyage log. Record log. You never know what kind of information it will provide useful. Now, how to phrase it. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived in the area, the Pikmin started acting strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. Huh. <sighs> Whatever. Need to find the missing parts. Oh, there's some. Over there chilling, just doing whatever. Oh, some yellow pickling. Yes, come on, you little bastards. Oh! See some pickling over there. Okay, I see they kept that innovation going, so. Alright. Little blue bastards, what are you doing? Alrighty. Some over here. Huh. Okay. We got some under here. Get these little goofy bastards. Just freaking bastards. I'll collect you and bring you back. Oh, look, a boss. Kind of. <clears throat> a creature! Oh! Oh, see any of my ship parts. Could this thing have swallowed it whole? Probably did. These spiky things are coming tough. I gotta find an opening. Oh boy, I wonder how you do that. Hmm. Meanwhile, circling awake for my chance to strike. Uh, yeah. Booga booga. Get on there and pound the shit out of it, son. Oh, you done did spike my red Pikmin. Oh, death to you. Ha ha. I am victorious. Eat that shithead. Ah, yes. The Interstellar Radio. I've located it at last. I won't get that back to my position. I can finally call for the helps. Oh, good. More loading. Don't let me carry it back to the ship, God forbid. Oh. That cup of coffee is even more enticing now. I need it! Or do I? Yes. <laughs> Loading. I've recovered the interstellar radio. Woohoo! So I immediately sat out on SOS. And attracted the latest version. I attached the latest version of my voice. Oh, attracted. Goddamn. I can't even read. Days and weeks pass. No one came. My signal reached the rescue core. 
They took off towards the remote planet with a noble plan to bring me home safe. Now. Yeah. Unfortunately, fate had to their hands. As as ships do, ships always crash when they come to this planet because why the hell not? As they do. What is up with Nintendo and like ships crashing on the planets? Metroid Prime 2, Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3, Pikmin 4. It's like they're like, how are we going to make this a situation? Ah, the ship crashes. It's fine. I probably should have been reading that, but... You know. Oh, emergency mission. Rescue the rescue corps. The irony. Follow emergency protocol. All officers are were directed to evacuate the ship immediately. Find a dispersed rescue corps. It's your top priority. Create your ID badge. Deployment ready. Oh boy, that didn't age too well. Uh. I didn't make Donald Trump again. Excellent. Hello, Donald Trump's son. Yeah, that's right. From that, the sauerkraut planet. Yes, always map a mouth agapes, showing no fear. Not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. Yo. The rest is in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Well, at least my ship didn't crash land. Everybody else's did. Bunch of goofy ass bastards. Such plot convenience. Everything gets fucked in the atmosphere here. Except for that ship. I think. Yeah, he landed perfectly fine. Everybody else did not. I thought my guy was bald for a minute. I was like, what? I gave him hair. What happened? Who does a doge? Scurry, my little child. Our dog. I found him. Excellent. I found a Rochi, or however you pronounce it. I rescued the rescue pup. That's a good start. I gotta find the other shitheads. What's he trying to tell me? What is it, boy? Did Timmy fall in a well? Oh! I found someone that needs help. Okay, we'll help him. Uh, just give the, give that weed a little yanking, sir. Yes. Pull on that weed. Pull it. Bring it out. It doesn't deserve existence as it lays there sideways. Our dirt has been removed. Let's go rescue him. Little lazy bastard. Um, is that Orochi? Yes, it is. Pinocchio. Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my signal reached. The SOS, um, so she found it and rescued me together. That's actually quite surprising. I've never known or she was anyone other than our captain. Fish nipples? Oh, fish nipples? Yes. Oh, I probably 
I should introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operative, sir. For operative, sir. Yes, he does the communications. We're making such progress. You've met up with Collins, the rescue corps commanding operator. That one's done. Now what's with the other ones? My path got cut off by a small landslide. And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to prevent stamina words. You're our latest recruit, right? Eat Leto, isn't it? Why, yes, I am from the planet PlayStation. I couldn't be more grateful for you rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the only one sent out an emergency signal to rest or research, research. God damn it. Why is reading so hard? Rescue Corwell. It was a rough landing. We are entering. We. God damn. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of our ship, as everyone does. Good to see they didn't recount that out. No? I have no idea. Plot convenience, probably. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated and ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Alomar, whose ship was crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost, it's almost embarrassing. It is embarrassing, I know, almost. I confirmed that our ship, our ship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. I don't want to say dolphin. But we couldn't reach it on our own. Now that's where, why we're here. Maybe we can get back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded officers along the way. Oh, before, ah, he's giving me a Switch console. Hell yeah, dude, I love the Switch console. It's an official research tablet. Also known as a switch. Thank goodness I was carrying extra. Press the up button to review your missions. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't have any apps to share, but install them later because we don't have know what they are yet. If you press that for shortcuts, it shortcuts. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go find the SS Shepard. Yes, let's. They run so fast. Oh, that's the SS Shepard. Just kind of chilling there. There she is, the SS Shepard. I can see my ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach her from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. Just up ahead, let's go. Yes. Let us walk over to this plant. The plants on this planet are gigantic. I always make sure the area is safe. Seems safe to me. Oh, look, a tunnel. Well, that's it. Some big hole in the ground over there. If only we could find a way there. And maybe we could reunite with the SS. Whatever. Dig, dog. Dig. Yes. Digif. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. We're known for being ex uh, war. No fractional good pup Orochi. You're making it look easy. Almost there. Not even halfway there. Don't give that dog crap. Okay. Sweet. You can see the rescue pup the rest of court pride and joy. Huh? It looks just like another hole we saw. Well done, Orochi. Yeah, I found a goddamn hole, you son of a bitch. Fishy. I wonder if these two holes are somewhat connected underground. I just want to find out. Looks pretty deep. We're going to have to dive right in. Let's do it. Ah, that's a spirit. Here we go. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Whatever. Let's go. Something they brought back from Pikmin 2. The cave system was not in Pikmin 3. No caves. Before? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Shut up, dog. Hey, 
what is it, Orochi? I'm trying to tell us something, boy. Perhaps there's another rescue officer down here. Sure there is. Wouldn't that be convenient? Oh, well, look at that. Oh. Oh my! What a place to find the captain. The terrified individual you see over there is our captain of a rescue corps team. Look sharp, Lilo. A captain, a god damn it. There's no time for history lesson. Hurry up and do something. I. I gotcha. Yeah. Punch that infant. Caved in his soft skull with my fists. Shoot, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. You can get down. I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging here so long. Oh, I can do this. Graceful. Ducka ducka. What's your status, Colin? You okay? Well, yeah. Should be asking that. I just revived this. I'm just revived. It's relieved to see you all right. Oh, I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard. Oh, good. Mass Effect. We can tie this to um, EA games. Of the rescue corps. If you don't remember, I did you order Orochi to get rid of the creatures all by yourself, Bigelow? Huh? Orochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess I was rookie training paying off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Yeah. The 99th generation of rescue. Horse shit. We found the captain. Oh, captain, my captain. I have found you. Good. Sorry for interrupting, Captain, but, uh, what are you doing down here, anyways? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. <gasps> I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I was wandering around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up to these icky, slimy creatures. Hang on. You fell down a hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered a cave entering, uh, entering, attempting to reach the very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that horse shit. Alright. Is there something wrong? You didn't say anything, you know. Copy that is the record's way of saying Understood, let's try something let's try saying it together. Copy that. Oh Very good, excellent reply. That said, you need to review the rescue corps rescue journals for your upcoming missions. They're essential to your work. Ah yes, like everybody's gotta switch. System via the tablets as the need arises put them to good use out in the field. Since Orochi is you have bonded, I officially approve you with your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what kind of skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Alright. Alright, dog, ram that shit. Oh, got him. Yeah, it was a rush, wasn't it? Oh, there. There's, that's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived the fall from that height. More importantly, how are you supposed to climb up there? Oh, we use the ventilation shaft after all. Yes, we get blown. That's the only way to get ahead in life. I know what I said. Good God, it's already been 20 minutes. Load faster, game! 
It's going to be a long introduction to Pikmin 4. <laughs> but the horseshit will continue. It does not end here. Excuse me, Leto. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when entering something unfamiliar. Maybe just don't touch it. You're the one that fell in a goddamn hole, you son of a bitch. You give me that shit. I completely agree with that. In this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of the cave. And we marked it. It is complete. Alright, Captain. The rescue corp flag has been officially planted. Uh-huh. We're located in a rescue castaway as no other individuals were found during the search. Noted. And let's consider the investigation as cave complete. I hope this experience will help us prepare for a challenge and inherit our work. Our lives depend on it. But you both did good work today. He let out a Ruchi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to be rescued. The captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something with your hair? I don't think so. Been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. And good for you. You did it. Deca deca? Well, there she is, the SS Shepherd. Yes. Yes, there it is. The ship. Ugh. Is that smoke pouring out of this shepherd? No! I'll investigate it right away. Famous last words. My chemical romance? Are you gonna... Hey, it looks fine to me. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no! Will it be okay? It will. I initiate the emergency shutdown. Everything is stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way again off this planet. Let's search for Captain Olimar. Yeah, pretty much. Fish nipple? Fish nipple? Not necessary. I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage that may provide useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. I'm about to make some shit up here. The investigation of the shiny objects I found on the planet, I've deduced that they contain sparkleum, something they just made up. I feel giddy when I found a real life treasure, but my focus remains on my main objective finding the missing parts. Yeah, see, now I combine the one and two. But acting like two never happened. In layman terms, we should be able to extract sparkleum from objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. Yes, it can be used to restart the SS Shepherd. An object truly is nothing short of a real life treasure. Oh, I'm skeptical, Coach sure. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. Might be our only chance. From this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect sparkly objects. We can. Oh, I'll be dead. Secure an energy source. I need 300 sparkle them. Once we collect this charger, we will be able to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Named after dogs, of course. We just need a good place to land. Huh. What's that over there? I don't know. What is it? so shiny. That's where the Pikmin land. Hello? Maybe some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. Bye. Looks like a perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Oh, yeah. Okay. SS Beagle reporting successful. Oh, Good. Our preparations are complete. Uh, Let's find that treasure. Can you go? 
Yes, I do. A fork. Is that what I think it is? This is a treasure. We look at it the way it sparkles. Let's check out the tablet. See if it's in the high energy reading. Yeah. You know, the plus button. It's opposite of the minus button. Okay. Yeah, that's got a... I, mm -hmm. Yep, he put a star on it. Yep, yep, okay. Not like I can't see the spark in him from here, but whatever. Get a dog. Undig it. The fork of justice. Yes. Yes, it's strength of three men. Because we obviously ain't going to pull on it. That, that'd be, uh, hmm. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that minimizes objects during collection. Shouldn't be a problem. That's convenient. I'll explain it to the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains enough energy we need. Wait, 50? Oh, if we collect 250 more sparkling, we'll be able to restart the SS Shepard. But the SS Shepard is supposed to be running on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can run on sparkling alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before it happens, we're going to need a lot more. Now we need to search the area for more treasure. Oh, God damn it. Fork of Justice. Alright, let's continue. There's something up there, but I can't get it. Actually, I can. It's a Game Boy Advance SP. What a great console. I got one of those. Yes. That was close. I got that exact color. Okay, well, well, let's get this Pikmin onion first. What's this? Is that a treasure? It's a Pikmin ship. Wait, are you taking a dog? Yes. Carry it back. Surely it'll uh, allow this to happen. Oh, oh it's rolling away. It's good to see that they kept the lake function the same from the third one, but it got rid of the way the color of the ship works. Oh, it moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? Looks like a kind of plant. Could this be with the cap the the captain thing? Could this be that thing Captain Armor wrote about his voyages? It's called an onion. So this is an onion. What is that sprout? A Pikmin, you dumbass. Yep, that's a Pikmin. The red Pikmin. And now all the flowers magically bloomed. Oh my, I think it could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Omar's voyage list. Log. They're friendly and helpful. <laughs> That's debatable. Think they could help us while we explore and look for treasure? Uh, got him. <laughs> Alright, bonded with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well. And uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide behind me? Uh huh. Yes. At least the dog knows to take it back to the freaking ship. Oh, now it gives you. Gives you extra, huh? What? More sprouts? The red sea like things apparently are called pellets. If you feed one to an that creates more. What a mysterious life form. Wow, well, mysterious life form indeed. 
So now all of a sudden they're worth like two. Oh, dopey fuckers. Lazy bastards. Should have enough Pikmin now to uh Yep. Sweet. Take these little bastards up. I don't think there's anywhere else. Alright, help him out. Let's get this shit going. Well, I need a hundred more. Another treasure collected. Oh, it's right here. So one thing that really ignored, ignored, annoyed me, which I understand why they did it, but it stops you once you throw the exact amount of Pikmin at an object. But I don't need that freaking like, I don't know, handicap because I can count it out myself. So I hate it when it does that. Maybe I want to throw more than the exact amount of Pikmin on. You ever think about that, you assholes? No. You play by the other rules. You two make a fantastic combination. Yeah, now at that time. Fish nipple. Of course, that isn't quite the right occasion for copy that, but good effort. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Uh, how about we extract the energy from that treasure? Get started right away, colon. Colon. Yeah, you're colon now. Saving. Energy from treasures will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Yes. Drop that Nintendo propaganda in there. And then all this other shit. I ain't hear no bell. And a fork. Okay. The sparkle them. I would believe I collected 300. Yep, it works good. It's got that Russian shit on the side. Yes, a shepherd is running. 300 sparkle them. Excellent. We did it! The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly it, but at least we can use the radar for our mission shit. Boot it up and see what we can pick up any signals. Yes. What do we got? I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from the loss, our loss rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. No, we don't have a moment to lose. It's time to get ready to rescue. Rescue two. That's interesting. This ship is automatically naming objects. Noble Bayant. Stone of Achievement. Path Creator. We encountered unknown objects and elements of our mission of all time, so by naming it the AI installed. Oh no, not the AI. Apparently is co created by a famous appraiser. It's more associated, sophisticated, that's a word. Yes, I can read big words. More sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It's neat, but a bag of power source probably would have been more helpful. Yeah, you're right. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of SS Shepard. I don't know how things would have shooken out. 
thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. It's, it's been rough for a long time, and there's something to be said, a finally proper meal. Ah, yes, food. Are you sure you had enough emergency rations, Colin? I have no idea how long they've been stuck on this planet. I've counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now tomorrow we'll focus on retcon. You and Orochi need to eat and get lots of rest. And don't forget to review your missions for him to bet. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks, game. 40 minutes later. Da -da 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 Alright, I guess this is everyone. We'll call a strategy media in order. Copy that. Here's our latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of me. However, the whereabouts of the other four officers remain unknown and as that Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary objective is rescue Captain Almar has run into some roadblocks. Our priorities is now the search and rescue of the fellow officers. Elato, Orochi, fly around the area and where our radar picked up the distress signals and tack, tack, track down our missing personnel. Col Colin and I will remain by the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepard wireless communications at all times so we have the full support. We'll typically assign you much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you're in a good paw with a rookie by your side. The two of you make a great team. Captain, we'll have our search for all of Mark. Should we officially put it on pause? No. We must find him during our hunt with the other research officers. Keep the mission in the list, just in case. That note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Yes. Alright, with that said, that'll be the first episode. Um, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to go eat some chicken. I'm going to drink some coffee and come back wired up again for our next adventure in the Pikmin. Yeah!